This example is going to go through um, finding a critical region for a hypothesis test. So we are told that a single observation is taken from a binomial distribution where n equals 6 and we've got a parameter of p. So x, our single observation, is binomially distributed where n equals p, so the number of trials is 6, sorry, n equals 6, and we've got the parameter p, which we are testing on. It says the observation is used to test h naught, our null hypothesis, which is that the parameter is equal to 0.35, against h1, our alternate hypothesis, which is that the parameter is greater than 0.35. So we want to use a 5% level of significance, so a 5% significance level, to find the critical region for this test. So what this means that if we want to accept that H0 is true, so if the parameter is equal to 0.35, then we need to find the probability that x is less than or equal to some to a number, sorry, greater than or equal to a number. We need to find that probability when that probability is less than 0.05, so less than our significance level. So we essentially, we want to use our tables, our binomial distribution tables, to find the first value of x for which the probability that x is greater than or equal to x is less than 0.05. This is what we want to find. So this will give us that critical region for where the null hypothesis is true. So if we assume h0 is true, then our variable x will be binomial distributed with n equals p, sorry, n equals 6, and our parameter would be 0.35. That's if h0 is true. So we're going to then look at our tables. So we're going to look at our tables for where n is equal to 6. And we're going to find the first probability, the first value of x, for which the probability that's greater than that is less than 0.05. So if we look at n equals 6, and we've got p equals 0.35, we're looking at the values in this column here. Now we want to find the value of x for which the probability that x is greater than or equal to little x is less than 0.0105. And we need to remember that the probability that x is greater than or equal to little x, that's equal to 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to x minus 1. So we're going to trial a couple of values and see if we get that probability of less than 0.05. And we're going to start with the ones towards the end of the list because they are our greatest values. So when we do one subtract these values, we should get a small probability, which is what we're looking for. I'm going to try this one first, see if we get a probability that is less than 0.05, like we want. So this is equal to 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 3. On our table, looking at the section for when n equals 6 and the column for when p equals 0.35, the value of the probability that x is less than or equal to 3 was um, 0.8826. Now when we do 1 subtract 0.8826, we get 0.1174. Now this is greater than 0.05, which means that our value for lowercase x, our critical region, is not when x is greater than or equal to 4. So let's try then 
x is greater than or equal to 5. The reason I've gone up to 5 and not down to 3 is because our value is a lot greater than 0 0.05. As the value of little x increases, we've got a cumulative probability, so the value that we're going to subtract from 1 is going to be greater, which means the probability that we're going to end up with will be smaller. So here we're doing 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 4. So that is 1 minus 0.9777. And this is equal to 0.0223, which is less than 0.05. So we found that the probability that x is greater than or equal to 5 is less than 0.05, which means our critical value is 5 because that's the first value of x for which the probability that x is greater than uh, x is less than 0 0.05. So our critical value is 5. We've got a binomial distribution going up to 6. So our critical region then is 5 or 6. Part B of this question asks us to work out the actual significance level of this test. Now you saw on the input slides before that the actual significance level is the probability of incorrectly rejecting the null hypothesis. So we need to work out this probability. So the probability that we reject the null hypothesis, that is then going to be the probability that x is greater than or equal to 5. So the reason why that is the problem is that we reject that hypothesis is that when x is greater than or equal to 5, we're in our critical region, which gives us sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis. So this probability, which we actually found out in part A, which was equal to 0 0.0223, that is the significance level of our hypothesis test. However, we always give significance levels in percentages, which is 2.23%. So what this is saying is, part A, we used a 5% significance level, which meant that we were trying to find a probability less than 5%. But really, the actual significance level is this percentage here, the probability that x is greater than or equal to 5, because 5 is our critical value.